Over six years after the initial release of Cuphead, one of the game's biggest secrets has finally been solved. Let's check it out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Shortly after the release of Cuphead, in the midst of the amazing reception that the game received, one really creepy and unsettling bit of audio had started to circulate around the internet. This was an audio file named Muse Intro Don't Deal With Devil Vocal 666, with the 666 obviously a reference to the number of the beast declared in the New Testament's Book of Revelation. And as the rest of the file name suggests, this was an alternate version of the original pre-DLC main menu theme, which just like the game's subtitle was titled Don't Deal With The Devil. And then, the alternate 666 version would not only have the title theme played in reverse, it would also be in a lower pitch, and towards the end of the track, some unsettling static noises as well as creepy laughter can be heard. And if all of that wasn't enough, what made this track extra creepy is that when viewing the file as a spectrogram, which is a way of visualizing sound frequencies, images of the first and second phase of the game's final fight against the devil can be seen. If you haven't heard it yet, here's what the creepy track sounds like in full. Now I'm not sure where it originated, but for the longest time, many were led to believe that this song was used in the game whenever someone would play a uh, less than legally obtained copy of the game. And boy let me tell you, I've gotten so many comments on my video where people thought this. And as I covered in another video, this turned out to be completely false as one of the game's developers had confirmed that Cuphead actually doesn't have any anti-piracy measures in place at all. Then, beyond that rumor, another one I would constantly get people commenting on my videos was that the creepy song was actually heard on Cuphead's main menu, if you get to the end of the game, but then end up giving the devil all of the soul contracts instead of defeating him, which results in the bad ending. This is, again, incorrect, as the song that gets played on the main menu after doing this is simply just the main theme played backwards, lacking the lower pitch, the creepy laughter, or spectrogram images. Well, actually, as it turns out, this was only partially incorrect. Recently discovered by GOTGM, who is not only a pal of the channel, but also an absolute legend in speedrunning and modding Cuphead, if you do the previously mentioned prerequisites of giving up the soul contracts to the devil and going back to the title screen, if you advance to the main menu you can actually punch in a version of the classic Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and then the back and confirm key or button respectively, depending on what platform you're playing on. And then this will actually cause the creepy music to start playing on the main menu. But yeah, there you have it. It took over six years since the game came out for someone to finally solve the true mystery of the creepy Cuphead song. So no, it's not an anti-piracy measure. No, it's not just the backwards menu song that's heard after getting the bad ending. 
And also we can finally say that no, this song isn't actually unused in Cuphead. Of course, a big shout out to Geo for discovering this. Definitely check out his original video and show him some love on his channel, which I'll have linked for you in the description below. Also, check out some of my other Cuphead videos, and be sure to subscribe to the channel to find your way back here in the future. And as always, thank you all so much for stopping by today, and I will see you in a bit.